My Chemical Romance dominated the American rock scene during the mid-2000s. Releasing four albums during its 12-year tenure, the New Jersey band was best known for its epic 2006 concept album, The Black Parade. But in 2013, the emo outfit shocked fans when lead vocalist Gerard Way, lead guitarist Ray Toro, rhythm guitarist Frank Iero, and bassist Mikey Way decided to split. So what have these rock stars been up to? Let's find out. To the end. MCR disbanded in March 2013 with a brief note on their website, saying, Being in this band for the past 12 years has been a true blessing, and now, like all great things, it has come time for it to end. Gerard said during an interview on BBC Radio 1 in 2014, We didn't want to keep going and let the band rust out on the rails. It wasn't an easy thing to come to. It was sad, because it wasn't a situation where anybody hated each other. Toro goes solo. Ray Toro took time to find his own voice after MCR split, releasing a string of songs on SoundCloud. His solo effort, Remember the Laughter, was released in November 2016. Toro wrote on his site, I couldn't be happier to get the record in your hands and in your ears. I really hope these songs become a part of your lives as they have become a part of mine. And something else that became a part of his life? A kid. After MCR split, Toro and his wife Krista welcomed a son in 2013. He told Team Rock, The split was almost like a blessing in disguise because, without the band, I was able to be home and be a part of my son's life. It's nice to lay roots down rather than just work all the time. Iero Goes Punk Frank Iero's first post-MCR endeavor came in 2014 with the release of solo punk album Stomach Aches, under the moniker Frank Iero and the Celebration. Iero recorded every instrument on the album apart from drums. Then in October 2016, Iero released his follow-up effort, Parachutes, under the guise of Frank Iero and the Patients, which hit number 26 on Billboard's Top Rock Albums chart that year. But the band's international tour was cut short in October 2016 when Iero, guitarist Evan Nestor, and band manager Paul Clegg were involved in a serious accident in Sydney. While the trio was unloading its van before a gig, a public bus collided with them. Miraculously, the three survived. The frontman told MTV in 2017, I ended up underneath the bumper of this massive vehicle. I thought whoever I couldn't see or hear had to be dead, and if they weren't dead yet, then we all would be soon. Mikey Way and Electric Century When MCR parted ways, Gerard's younger brother Mikey teamed up with vocalist David Dibiak of Sleep Station to form Electric Century in 2014. The electronic-inspired duo's self-titled EP came out a year later, following the release of its first single, I Lied. The song earned the band a spot on the alt-press 100 Bands You Need to Know list, and the group's debut LP, For the Night to Control, dropped in 2016. As Mikey told Billboard in 2017, Electric Century sound is heavily influenced by Britpop. He says, I always wanted to scratch that New Order itch. Since I was a teenager, I wanted to do my version of New Order. But Mikey has also struggled with addiction, and things came to a head after MCR broke up. The band ended, and I was going through a divorce at the same time. The way I knew how to deal with that, through life, was to self-medicate, so that's what I did. It was his new bandmate Dibiak who finally staged the intervention that led to Mikey's recovery. Mikey said, It was a relief. For me to be me, sober, that was the true journey afterwards. When you get out of rehab, that's when the real f starts. Gerard Way flips careers. MCR frontman Gerard Way's solo album Hesitant Alien actually marked a return to his roots. The singer told Billboard, It's almost like this solo record is a re-education of what I was into before. My whole trip through music. I always felt like an alien. Hesitant Alien peaked at number 16 on the Billboard 200 and topped the alt-press 10 Essential Albums of 2014 list. But Gerard's career took a surprising turn when he turned to comic book writing for DC in 2015. Gerard had begun the non-DC series Umbrella Academy in 2007 under Dark Horse, after studying at the School of Visual Arts in New York. He told The Guardian, 
I guess I've been a comics reader all my life. I wanted to tell strange stories, stories that had heart. Gerard's Umbrella Academy was picked up by Netflix and is slated for a 2018 release. And along with his album drop in 2014, Gerard opened up about his fluid gender identity during a Reddit AMA. During the Q&A, a fan told him they figured out their own identity from watching the rocker on stage and in MCR's music videos. Gerard revealed, I have always identified a fair amount with the female gender and began at a certain point in MCR to express this through my look and performance style. Masculinity to me has always made me feel like it wasn't right for me. My Chemical Reunion Will the band get back together? Signs point to maybe. Gerard told Billboard in 2017, I wouldn't count a reunion out, but at the same time, everybody's doing stuff in their lives now that they're really enjoying. And that seems to be the general consensus among the former bandmates. Toro told NME in 2016, Here and there, I think we all probably miss making music together, but I think at the same time, we're all very focused on our current projects. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!